and welcome to True Audio with Johnny Truesdale. This is episode 19, Pro Tools Using Markers. I find that when people use markers, they either don't know how to use them right or they don't use them often enough, or they don't know some of the shortcut and workflow benefits of using markers. So without further ado, here's episode 19. All right, here we are in Pro Tools. And um, I have the session up, the great fraud session that I've had up several times before um, to talk about this. So you see I have everything color-coded, et cetera, et cetera. And I have a couple markers up here right now. The markers are up here. And um, how are they useful? Well, I can click on that marker here, and this will be my song start. So, like so. I click here, and I believe this is where... Uh, it was a hi hat. I made it for a hi hat spot. Seven miles through the pouring rain. Lobbing up. Now, what what you should normally do with this is you you know you have a song start, and then you uh, make your markers as you go along. And I and I recommend doing this when you're mixing especially, but you can even do this when you're tracking, where you make little markers as you go along. So how you make a marker is you hit the enter key. That enter key is on the numeric keypad or you can hold down option and hit return and if you're on a laptop and it'll make a make a marker. You can do it while it's in motion and wherever you hit it it will make a marker. So for example and right where I hit that marker is exactly where it was put. So to access the marker again, you can double click on the marker, okay? You can also hit command numeric keypad five and it'll give you your memory location. So markers are some part of something greater. They're part of memory locations and I'll do a separate video on memory locations but I just wanna talk about the basic markers. So here, if I take my memory locations and I put them over here, I could just click once. Any old place I go. It jumps around. So what's my point to markers? My point is you should map out the song. You should have the song start, song verse, song chorus. I know that I don't have them mapped out in this song, but you can listen to it as you start from the beginning of the song to the end of the song and just play it through and make your markers and name them as you go through and you'll be able to skip around hey I want to skip to the first verse hey I'm doing vocals it's especially important when you're when you're recording vocals you may want to go skip to all the verses so map the song out ahead of time before you mix before you do vocals before you do other overdubs it's best to map the song so you can jump around that's all I have for this week I'll see you guys next week.